OK, I just connected my math lab course in uh, uh, to Canvas. And I waited less than a minute before I received an email from Pearson saying that the course in Canvas had been created because even though it felt like I was copying to me, I, it's actually a creation of a new course inside Canvas. So I did that. All right, now I'm going to share my screen. And I'm going to show you the letter, the email I received. I'm living in the past, a letter, goodness. I received this email from uh, Pearson. Yes, it was less than a, less than a minute after I had uh, closed Canvas. OK, so uh, given it's three weeks before the start of fall semester, I imagine there are not there is not a lot of course creation going on. OK, there it is, dear Barbara, you successfully created your course. That's wonderful. OK. Now I'm going to share my screen again. I'm going to unshare it actually for a minute, come back and say hi, and then reshare it and go to my dashboard. So here's my dashboard. Going to go down, 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 down to this course, which is the one I connected to the My Math Lab course. There it is, there's my Math Lab. Let's see if it works. OK, I'm going to click here. I could just go to assignments. I could go to course settings or gradebook, but I want to see the whole thing. OK, this is what students see. This is their assignments. And yes, their assignments are right here. OK, let's um, go to quizzes and tests just to make sure. OK, now I am going to go back here to course tools. And then to assignment manager. And it, it preserved my tags. I was almost sure I'd have to put all my tags in again. And I don't have to, so I am the happiest teacher ever. OK, now that's that's publisher stuff. But down here, notice that I have all the work tagged. The reason I have it tagged intermediate algebra is that I'm going to mix part of this course with a prerequisite course. Um, I also always tag by the week. Look what that does for you. I just want to sell this, OK? I am going to go to show all. So let's make this bigger. All right, so you can see more of show all. So here we go. Here's show all and it is all. It's everything. Now, what if I want to find just what I um, uh, assigned for week three? I go to all assignment tags. I go to week three. And look, there's all the stuff, all the stuff, all the material I assigned for week three. It's very convenient considering I wanted to print off. Print off. The homework sets. And the qu weekly quiz sets for me by the week. OK, so I am totally happy to still have my tags. Now, I'm going to go back to all assignments and show all. Yes, there I am at show all. OK, let's go back to let's get rid of this. I can click off of it. I'm still in my lab mastering in uh, Canvas. 
OK, so I am going to go to grade sync for the very first time. Now let me show you the grade book. Right now, this is all there is. And because the school has not yet, distance learning has not yet put in the student names, I don't know. This is an adventure. I don't know if I'll be able to sync the My Math Lab um, assigned work to the grade book. We're both going to find out if I can do that before the student names are put in. OK, so. Let's see back here. My lab mastering. OK, here's where I sync. So I click on sync. Now this is the very first time. So I have to put on. Automatic grade sync, select all or individual items. Oh, OK. Now, do I want all? Actually, you're going to see me do something. I am going to look for the discussions and I am going to unsync these. These are just dummy space holders in my math lab. For grades on the discussions. And I have to make those discussions in Canvas. OK, so I just want a, a, a kind of a dummy backup grade in in my math lab. I may or may not use them, actually. It depends on how busy I get and I'll probably be very busy. But other than that, all the rest of this should sync. So um, also, let's see if it's in assignments yet. No, not yet, but it will be or it ought to be. So let's go back. Where was I? Yeah, my lab mastery. Grade sync. Here I go. I'm going to click on sync rates. Boom! And I hold my breath. Kind of, sort of. There it goes, it's sinking, it's sinking, it's sinking. Will it work? Yes, discussions have not been synced. Everything else is sinking. Of course, there are no grades there yet. There are no students. Okay, now, thump, 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 thump. Let's go to grade book. A look at this. Yes, yes, yes. I have now created my grade book with all of the assigned work. Now all we need are the student names to be uploaded. I don't know if that's going to erase um, um, but the grade book. And I'll have to start from scratch, but you see how easy it is. I just go to grade sync and boom, the classes appear in grade book and I am happy. All right, um, that's it for today. Let's go back to me, wonderful me. There I am. Let's go back on this wonderful Sunday morning. And I'll say bye for now, and I hope that this helped you. Bye-bye.